All right, we head out to the cabin now, out here, Hopper's Cabin. <laughs> Another new location I haven't been to yet. There's Hopper. Can we do anything around here before? Oh, God, yeah. Let's investigate around. There might be items and stuff. Aha. Shit out of him. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Metal tube, nails, wire spool. Very nice. Baby Man Gaming says this game is sort of like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and indie garbage. No, it's not indie garbage, it's good. Scott Pilgrim was a beat em up, a side scrolling beat em up. This is not, this is an isometric puzzle action game. It is not indeed garbage, and the fact that you said that means that you're ignorant! Nails. Uh, my mother came out of my head, we should the hopper before seeing you around his property. Haha. <laughs> oh god, what the hell? Uh, Kenny Rogers Chicken give me dollars if you're if you're putting mayo and Miracle Whip on your Angus burgers. Let go of that mayo and add hot sauce. No, not not Miracle Whip mayo, mayo and ketchup. That's what I put on burger. I mean, hot sauce could be good on a burger too. I don't. I'm not a big hot sauce fan though. I never was. Middle two and nails. So Mike is surprisingly damaging. He's a lot of damage with this bat. Damn. Beat the shit out of him. Oh, double Molotov. Owned. Hopper's padlock combination. This looks like some kind of combination. Great. Why are there a bunch of Russian dudes out in the woods? Good question. <laughs> so that guy was supposed to be Russian. I didn't even know. Kenny Rod. Oh, I already read that out. Thank you to Kenny Rogers Chicken for that dollar tip. By the way, we're at 50 bucks in tips already. Thank you guys very much for the support today. Thank you also to the top cheerer, uh, Iwojo from earlier. Thank you for that. A lot of people also soaked today, too. I like that he goes, I have the power, like he's freaking He-Man. Nothing here? A blood splatter. Just a disgusting blood splatter, nothing more. Alright, I guess that's it, right? Yup, looks like we investigated everything. We can go talk to Hopper. GSB tries it Miracle Whip Edition? I know what Miracle Whip is. I used to have it when I was a kid. My mom used to get it all the time. Because she liked it better than regular mayo. And it is actually healthier for you than regular mayo. Not by a ton, but it is actually better when it comes to fat calories and stuff. What's with the fence? It's for security. Something or someone is souping around here at night. Good luck with that. Is 11 around? Where else would she be? Can I see her? We have a date. You have to go around the back and remember to keep the door open and the lights on. Are you trying to keep me from 11? Who me? Who makes you think that? Alright, so we gotta go the, the back way. Alucard tipped me a dollar says, I love you, but I think Bloodstain would be hype. Uh, some people have asked me to play Bloodstain. And I basically said I'm not against it. I definitely consider doing it for the summer if people want to see it. Oh, we got the combination. Good. What the hell is this? That's how you open it. All right. Bolt cutters, which we don't have. Metal 
tube, middle tube, and nails. All right, anything over here? No. All right, we'll go inside. John sent me a dollar and said, I have a quick question. What's the worst meal you've ever had? I've had some pretty bad meals in my time. Um, I've had meals where, you know, the food looks good, you eat it, and you shit your brains out afterward. I've had a couple times. I happened once when I went to an Asian buffet, and it happened once when I went to Red Lobster. Um, once, a long time ago, I went to Outback Steakhouse, and they, the steak, I ordered medium, and it came out like a brick. So I was like, dude, this is completely overcooked. I want it again. And it came out overcooked again. And I was like, fuck this. I'm just leaving. That happened a long time ago, though. <laughs> Mr. Pooby McWiener fart cheered. He said, here are some bits my mom ran away before I was born. There you go. Baby Man Gaming cheered. He said, I'm not, I, I'm not answering that. Baby Man Gaming, I said, I'm not answering your, your really disgusting question. So. It's Hopper's television. I can watch 11 watching it all the time. Can't figure out how to open this. Topper's refrigerator, he keeps it well stocked. These are the boxes, Topper keeps around his house that I smash. Full? Not anymore. <laughs> Alright. Hey, E, I'm here for our date. Or, er, hey, L. Mike, I missed you. Yeah, but Hopper doesn't seem thrilled to see me. Hopper is mad. Don't worry about it, I can handle him. Sure, you can't, tough guy. All right, so, give a little bit of a tasty snack, choose a good television show. The Silver Gals B Team, or the B Team. A tasty snack. Rice cakes, ice cream, ice cream. I got something for you. Ice cream, I like ice cream, can I have some? Only if you promise not to eat it all right away, I promise. Okay, what's been going on? I've been bored, but we're together now. That's better. Can we sit down? Of course. Give me a second to get everything ready. Give a compliment. New clothes are stylish. Your makeup makes you look mature. Your hair looks much better. Thank you, Mike. Man, you suck at this. Why are you still here? Time to watch. You turn the lights off. The power is in my room. The wardrobe full of loveless clothes. Why are the lights part of my light switch? Mike, your mother called us about your grandma. Nana, I guess I better go talk to him. Hey, Robert, calling for you. Great work, genius. <laughs> we need to talk about this thing between you and L. So, Nana's fine, you lying pieces. If you ever want to see L again, you will shut your mouth, understand? Uh huh. I'm gonna drive you home and we're gonna talk. Okay. What is going on? Hopper could be scary when he wants to. Basically, you know, he cock-blocked him. I can't believe this was his problem. Mike, your phone is ringing. Maybe you should answer it. Mike, what happened to our date? Sorry, I can't. I have to cancel our date. You come over later? I think I need to be alone today. You see, Nana is sick. Mike, do you lie? Of course not. Friends don't lie. You're a deep man, but you can fix it. Max has dumped me five times. How? Be a man. You go out there. You take care of something shiny that says, I'm sorry. Okay. Find a gift for 11 at the Starcourt Mall. By the way, can I craft anything new now? Increase fire. See, increase fire damage, but no one has fire. So I don't want to make that yet. Block duration increase. I guess technically I could make more protective gloves. Alright. And then I can equip the protective gloves on something I don't want. Let's see. Alright, instead of the REO speed shoe, let's put more hit points. There you go. Alright, we're going to the mall. He still wants to play Dungeons and Dragons. Good lord. What's my favorite discontinued snack or beverage? Um. Well, let's see here. Um. Well, first of all, you guys might be aware. Remember those V8 juice drinks that I used to drink on stream. I said these are much better than like an energy drink. They discontinued them. You can't get them anymore. The only place that has them is Amazon and Amazon has such limited stock. They started charging like insane amounts of money. 
So, like, a case of them of 12 costs, like, $40. It's insane. They completely discontinued that V8 drink I used to drink. But, uh, they do this all the time. They discontinue a lot of the shit that I like. It sucks I can't ever get the stuff that I like. Uh, I, I can't necessarily say anything about, um... A snack. I'm trying to think of any snack that I like that they got rid of. Hmm. The thing is, I don't really snack that much. You know what they used to have the weirdest thing? So in the 1980s and early 90s, everything was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They had these turtles like like snack crisps. They basically what they were were puffed rice in the shape of a Ninja Turtle's head, and was covered in a powder that they claimed tasted like pizza. It didn't. It was just very odd. It tasted very bizarre. And they were really fucking weird. Of course, they got rid of those. They also had these Ninja Turtle pies. You know how you can get, a, 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 like, a cream-filled pie or, like, a fruit-filled pie from, like, Hostess or whatever? So it was that pie, but it was covered in a green coating. A green sugar coating. And on the inside, it had, like, green stuff. And they said, oh, it was, like, the mutagen from the from Ninja Turtles. You're like, why the fuck would you want to eat that? <laughs> what the fuck? You want to eat mutagen? Uh, let's see here. Jingle Massive just did a 200-bit cheer. I said sub-only mode, please. No, why would I do that? Why would I do a sub-only mode? I'm not doing that. But you are the top cheer of the day. Thank you for the 200-bit cheer. Appreciate that. Okay. So I need to get 11 a gift of some sort? It's back here dressing room. Oh, uh, I'm looking for something for a friend. The two must be quite close friends if you're shopping for her here. Look, you just have to, uh, you can just make this easy for me. I have no clue what she'd want. If you insist for a girl your age, I recommend a charm bracelet or a scrunchie. Oh, I need the medical tape. Dude, I need that for uh, crafting. I bought both. Well, both. Okay. Yeah, I need the medical tape for that uh, craft thing that I wanted to make. I gotta get to a bench now. Where's there a bench? Uh-oh. Mike, why are you here? Elle, you aren't supposed to be here. You said that Nana was sick. Wait, I can explain. I was getting a gift to apologize and... No, I dump your ass! Friends don't lie, but boyfriends do. Let's go. Max, wait. Great job, Mike. I can't believe Tom fired us. What boyfriends do? I get the trophy for this. Look. I can't believe Eleven dumped me. Let's get back to Mike's basement. I want to make sure Will is okay. Okay, then. <clears throat> Have I ever had teppanyaki? I'm trying to remember what teppanyaki is. Look at this, Billy. Oh my god. Are you hurt? No, I think he's been infected. I think Billy's been infected by the- Yeah, look. Billy was infected by these new monsters. <laughs> I said Enzo's at seven. Where's Joyce? Wait, or another bottle. Looks like Hopper's at a date waiting for Joyce. The case of the missing lifeguard. So, here we go. Coin purse, extra money boost, small. Better than searching couch cushions. All right, I, I crafted the coin purse. I definitely want to equip that. Hey, you know what? I'll equip that over this. There you go. Hey, Max, why the long face? The boys have really screwed things up. Can you think of a way to cheer up Eleven? Well, when I was your age, I, I loved a good slumber party. I'll give it a try. I'll hit the Hopper's cabin. Max joins the party. Aha! Max has joined the party. Mad Max, silver trophy. What's her ability? Medic. She drops lots of health nearby. I should try her out. She killed a flying kick. <laughs> That's cool. 
Food man tipped me a dollar. He says, I remember the TMNT foods. They had an apple pie when it was full of green ooze. Right, that was disgusting. It was like the, the fucking... This is the mutagen. It's like, what? Why would I want to eat a fucking mutagenic chemical in a fucking fruit pie? <laughs> disgusting. Teppanyaki's Japanese cuisine where they cook in front of you? Oh, no. I've never done that. I've done a, a hibachi. Japanese... Oh, no. Maybe I did because I did a Japanese hibachi before. But I, it, they didn't call it teppanyaki back then. This was like the mid-2000s. So maybe it actually was teppanyaki, but they just didn't call it that. Yeah, maybe I did do it. Huh. Okay, return to my basement and talk to Will. There we are. Or, go to Hopper's cabin and talk to Eleven. Alright, let's talk to Will. I got your Dungeons and Dragons characters ready. Sorry, little brother, we just don't have time. I have to let Mom know I lost my job. She's working at Melvald's today. I can't play either, Will. I have to talk to Steve about those Russian transmissions. Max, do you want to play? I rolled up a Will We Red Hair Half Elf Ranger for you. I'm just here to talk to Nancy. I love it that I need some time away from you boys. But what about Dungeons and Dragons? Sniff. So, I got like a ridiculous amount of quests to do, yeah. What do we want to do for a slumber party? Nah, let's do this. Talk to Joyce at Millhalls. Will's mom, Joyce, is waiting for us at Millhalls. We can find the store in the center of Hawkins Square. Let's do that. Do I remember Burger King cheese fries? They have powder cheese you put in the bag and shake it up. No, I don't remember that at all. Cheese fries? That sounds disgusting. If you have real, you know, real melted cheese on top, that's good, but not powdered cheese. Yuck. Okay, here we go. Any side quests available in town? Oh, yeah! There's one new side quest. Let's see what it is. Kid, I'm right here. You don't have to... It's much worse than I thought. Much worse? Okay, what now? They live off our power. It's only a matter of time before they go for our brains. Get on with it. What do you need from me? There's a thing on our feet. Chewing gum. Chewing gum? To the untrained eye, it's just a chewy candy wrapped in foil. To a survivor, the perfect materials are put together in a reflective cap to make your brain undetectable. Grab a handful of chewing gum from a vending machine. You want me to buy five chewing gums? Where's the vending machine in this area? Crap, I don't remember where it is. Actually, isn't it inside the general store? I think it is. How am I going to tell my mom I lost my job? It's just a summer job, it's not like your life's over. I need that job. I told you to leave that story alone, but you couldn't let it go. Are you serious? That job is humiliating. Yeah, well, the real world sucks. Grow up and get used to it. Wow. Yeah, back here, I think. Here we go. There we go. What will you give me this time? He's gonna make a tinfoil hat out of five chewing gum wrappers. <laughs> Great. Alright. Perfect. I need to get chewing, but while you were gone, I made some new ways to break through the enemy's defenses. Do you choose shock and awe or scorched earth? Shock damage or fire damage? I, let's do shock damage. Nice. Increase it by 20%. Well, I don't have shock damage yet, I don't think. I don't think anyone does electricity, so... Maybe later, I'll equip it. Alright. Mom, I have bad news. I lost my job today. That's nice. Can you hand me that book on electromagnetism? Mom, are you listening? Nancy and I got attacked by a crazy lady at work, and... I'm so sorry, kids, but I can't help with that right now. I have to find Hopper. Something is messing with all the magnets in town. I think Hawkins' lab might be involved. Then let's get going. Joyce joined your party. Joyce has joined, and she has bolt cutters. Oh my god, but Oda Ryder's badass. Look at her. Like, fuck all this shit, bitches. Nice. Bolt cutters, baby. Now, the question is, where are all the areas where I need to use the bolt cutters? Because there's a ridiculous amount of them. I don't remember where they all are. 
damn. We're gonna have to go all around town and find them. Here's one. I knew it. Let's see. Jingle Massive now doing 250 bit cheer. He says, Ron Sack, stop messaging me to ask Phil to unban you. You probably deserved it when you got banned. Ha ha ha. That's funny. I don't know who that is anyway. All right, thank you for the 250 bit cheer. And Food Man to me another dollar. So do you remember Zima? The brunt of all jokes that came alcoholic beverages in the 90s. Yeah, it was supposed to be like, it was an alcoholic beverage that tasted sweet. And so it was supposed to be like easy to drink, you know. So basically, like, you know, girls would drink it and guys who didn't want beer or whatever would drink Zima. I don't know, if I, I don't think I ever had one. I don't think I ever tried Zima. There we go. Why do you think Twiggies were shortly discontinued and brought back? Because the company went out of business. And then they got bought by another company. So that's why. Beat the shit out of these assholes. Oh. There we go. Put these guys up! Money and a Coke. That's it? That's all that was in here. Money and a Coke. There's another room. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Tough. I got it. Cruise the gnome. That was cool. Well, Thomas did 100 bit chase. Did you watch Jim Sterling's video on loot boxes? I can't believe the scumbags take advantage of mentally and physically disabled people fishing for whales. I mean, yeah, the bottom line is the whole loot box industry is gambling. And what they do is they get people who get addicted to that shit and they make them constantly spend money, spend money, spend money. And it's true, it's a very addictive. It's just as bad as, as real gambling at a casino, you know? All right, so we cleared this out. I gotta try to remember all the places. All the places where there's bolt cutters, and there's a ridiculous amount of them, but the mall has a bunch. Like, everywhere there's bolt, there's places for bolt cutters. Wait, no, no writer has bolt cutters. What's her special ability? Whirl. She spins around and stuns enemies. Okay, that's cool. I want, I want a ranged character. Like that, yeah. I want a ranged character to help. Because she's up close melee. Nice. Alright. I guess we gotta keep looking because I know there's different areas that have bolt cutters. No, this door's just locked. You probably come here later. AWC, great, tip me $5. Just listening to The Doors. Do you have songs that you like from the band? By the way, keep doing what you're doing, man. Um, thank you for the $5 tip. The Doors have a lot of good songs. Um, and the bottom line is I, would, I, I, I don't remember their names, but I would probably recognize them if I heard them because The Doors, you know, that music is very long-running. You know, they've been a, a very culturally relevant band for a very long time. Yeah, we can't go in here yet. Probably later. No dick is bent slightly to the left is not a door song. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, okay, no bolt cutters in here. I'm glad this game is a good map so you can see, you know, what you need to use the bolt cutters on. 
No bolt cutters in here. Nope. No, that's one of the small areas when you're sometimes we're small. We don't have anybody yet. It's locked. What about the library? Was there was there any bolt cutters in the library basement? I don't think there was. No, that was the puzzle that I solved. Flower shop? Nope, I did everything in the flower shop. Client's busy these days. <laughs> no bolt cutters there. What about this door over here? Oh god! Holy crap, she stunned everybody. That was nuts! Dude, her spin ability is amazingly good. It stunned everybody. I probably just could have kept doing it too. Oh, what's this? We've been found out. Get them. A thug hideout. This must be a new optional area I just found. Some money. Thugs on the floor, now we got rats in your face. Nihilistic wish list at a 50 bit cheer and said, See you later, Derek. Another stupid running meme. Look, we got thugs on the floor. We got thugs on the floor. Shoot them in the face because they're on the fucking floor. No, you beat them with the pliers because they're on the fucking floor. Did you already said drop off of the mayor's office? So apparently the mayor has thugs working for him. Awesome. Yeah, the mayor is thugs working for him. Huh. Well, I didn't see anything else in here. Just those thugs. Am I liking this game? I am. I actually really like this game now. Now you're getting new characters with abilities. I actually really enjoy this game. My God, it's full of books. Holy Royal. And a pocket knife. So we just got some evidence that basically the mayor is hiring thugs to do stuff for him around town. That's interesting. I actually think Joyce is my favorite character. He's the shit out of you fucking flyers. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. I'll double check like these stores, but I'm pretty sure that's it for this part of town. Hardware store. Oh no, there's bull cutter thing back here. Nice. She insta kills the rats. Nice. Oh god. Oh shit. New area. Wow, these rats do a ton of damage. They're super-powered rats. They were fucking me up. Spin a Rooney. What the hell? Good, no more. Nice, I almost died. Short circuit, I got tons of money. 
Yeah, I got tons of money. So this needs someone tiny. When I find someone tiny, we can come back here and keep going. But I almost died. I almost died. Those ra those white rats, the albino rats, are the most powerful in the game. The villain X did a 666 bit cheer and asked, why is depression so hard to get rid of? Um, I mean, you'd have to ask a, 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 a doctor. I have no idea what actually is like, is it a chemical imbalance that causes depression? I have no idea. I wish I did. Because I wish there was a magic fix for it because, you know, I suffer from it too. And it sucks that it's something that just keeps fucking coming back and shit. Um, even when you feel good some days, right? That's the worst. It's like, it's supposed to be a good day. There's like good positive stuff going on. And because you have depression, you feel like shit and you just can't shake it. It sucks. It can ruin really positive stuff, man. Um, so I hear you that it really sucks, but I guess it just sucks this life. If you have it, you have it, right? Damn, there's a lot of stuff you can craft. Look at all that shit. There's the hot foot. Max deals additional 15 fire damage per attack. Is your feet an itchy burning sensation? I find a fireproof cloth. Max will deal fire damage. I gotta buy that item. If I buy that item, I can make tactical helmet. Yeah, he doesn't have it. He sells other stuff, though. He sells the rake. I'll buy the rake. I know I need that. Leather gloves are so expensive. Binoculars? I'll buy that. Alright. No, I still can't craft anything new. Alright, that was cool. See all this side stuff I'm finding? is really neat. CRP312 resell for four months. He says, really enjoying the game. Great value for $20, too. I agree. The game has a ton of value. It's a lot of fun. I'm really having fun with this. I think the Driscoll farm had a fence. Am I correct? Let's see. Yeah, right there. Two chests, dude. Very nice. Oh, fuck. Uh, nihilistic wish list. I have no idea what you're talking about. Damn, there's so many enemies here. A ridiculous amount of enemies. They really don't want me to open this thing. Metal tube and full. Great. Dude, it was all wire I don't need. Yeah, a million spools of wire. Damn, I didn't even need to be here then. Anything down here? No. I guess I can just leave. Yeah, there was nothing of any use here. I got everything else. Get the hell off this farm infested with these monsters. Ah, I got bit. Oh, fucker. Let's get out of here. Capri Sun or Kool-Aid Jammers? I don't think I ever had either. I don't think I've had them. Weathertop. Were there... I think there was fences at Weathertop. Shit. Maybe not. No, I'm not seeing any... Oh, is that one? I think that might be one. But I can't... You can't zoom in here? No, you can't. I can't... I can't see. I don't think there is one now. I can't tell. I guess I can just run through this quickly. I'm gonna do this quick. Huh. There's also things something over here I didn't do. Over 
here. Yeah, look. Good, because I need the health pack. <clears throat> so I gotta go all the way to the left. Just straight left. It's just a dead end. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I got owned. I got fucking owned, dude. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's any fence to cut here. Oh, wait, there is. Oh, shit, never mind. It's not a total waste. There's a fence to cut. Jingle, massive security. Give a shout out to my girlfriend, Latrine. Sure. There you go. Cool. What do we got here? Asshole. Oh my god! He killed his own guys! He seriously did. He burned them all alive. What an asshole. Bike helmet, duct tape, and I guess the duct tape's full, but the good news is I needed that bike helmet to make that defense up item that's like 200 defense though. So that's actually a great find, and now uh, we're done here. I could go craft that bike helmet. I guess that'll be it for today's stream because we're actually out of time. This game is great. I love this freaking game. Run Those Sets has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Run Those Sets, for the sub. Thank you to everyone who hung out with me for my first session of the Stranger Things game. I'm definitely playing this again sometime this weekend. I like this a lot. And what I would say is if you guys like Stranger Things, you might want to watch the show first. You know what I mean? Watch the season. And then uh, and then come back and maybe you'll understand more of it. I don't know. I haven't watched season three yet. So for me, this is all new stuff, this plot. Um, <clears throat> very nice. Okay. Good stuff. I don't know how you save. <laughs> I have no idea how you save in this game. So I guess next I'll probably go to Starcourt Mall, because Starcourt Mall has a bunch of fences you can cut open. I know for that. I know that for a fact. I guess you just hit quit. There's no way to manually save. I think I think it auto-saved when I walked in here, so I think we're good. Alright, very nice. Stranger Things 3, the game. Great game so far. Really enjoying it. Can't wait for the next session.